All right, now here's where it gets tricky, called picking up a thread. Oftentimes you'll be asked to do this throughout your machining career. And this occurs for a variety of reasons. One, Farmer Brown may bring you a shaft or an axle in that the threads have been damaged. We're going to chuck it up in the lathe, dial indicated in, and we're going to want to pick up and chase that thread and cut through the areas that maybe have hammer and tong marks on them. Another problem may arise where we're cutting a particular thread, the tool breaks, the tool is dull, and we go, ah. I just don't like the quality thread that we're getting, so we remove the thread tool, we take it out, we sharpen it, we bring it back in, we make sure that our cutting tool is set to the proper height, we also align the cutting tool with the fishtail. Now comes the important part of picking up that existing thread that we've started to cut. On this particular sample that we're going to show you is an inch and a sixteenth by sixteen. We've taken our cutting tool out, we've put a razor sharp edge on it, now it's time to pick up the thread and cut it to its final depth. So watch closely as I demonstrate the ins and outs of picking up a thread. I'm going to move our lathe into the back gear mode. Make sure that your gearbox is set for the correct thread. I, many years ago, was on the telephone with a customer in the process of chasing a thread, and we got off on numbers and figures, and when I came back to the lathe, the lathe, I neglected to make sure that my gearbox was in the right position and ended up cutting over a thread with a different thread pitch. Very, very embarrassing, so please do not make that mistake. All right, once our machine is set, <coughs> we're going to engage... our half nut lever on the appropriate number. Remember, we're machining 16 threads per inch so we can line up on any number or any half number. Make sure that our tool is away from the part that we're doing and let the machine run with the half nut lever engaged. And we're going to give you a top view now and we're going to look down into the thread in relationship to the cutting tool. And you can see that the thread itself in relation to the cutting tool is right on the top or crest of the thread. So if we were to advance in the cross feed, we would simply cut right on the crown. So we're going to make a minor adjustment with the compound. And if you watch closely, we're simply going to guide by the use of the compound rest and the cross feed, the threading tool right into the depth of our V thread. Okay, I like using a 3x5 white index card underneath the workpiece. This allows us perfect clarity and contrast so we can get an excellent view of the cutting tool itself actually mating into the specific V thread that we are cutting. Let's take another look at moving the compound and cross feed in to pick up that thread. Okay, it's like on the old etch -a sketch that we used as a kid. We're simply aligning that threading tool with the V-thread. Okay, once our tool's aligned, it's now time to don our safety glasses, and let's finish up cutting that thread to full depth. Add a little bit of cutting fluid again to the top. We'll engage our machine. Now keep in mind, as we finish up this thread, that we're going to be using the cross feed, just like we did in our earlier threading examples, to take that thread to full depth. We'll just be taking two or three thousandths at a pass and start to clean up the thread, getting both sides of the thread nice and sharp and clean. All right, I think about one more pass ought to do it. Make sure and use a good sulfur-based cutting oil or a molybdenum-based cutting fluid when you're cutting your threads. Never cut them dry. Okay, let's take our air nozzle. We'll very lightly blow the chips and oil away from that and have a look at our thread.
All right, we'll give you a close-up view of the thread. It's nice and clean on both sides of the thread. We've done a marvelous job of picking up the existing thread and again, cutting it to final depth. This is something that you can practice. Grab a bar of steel or a piece of aluminum and practice picking up a thread, be it a fine thread or a coarse thread, until you get the hang of it. It's a very important part of your career as a master machinist.